how to fix error timed out message on Chrome browser. If you're trying to connect to a certain website and you keep getting this error timed out or error connection timed out on Chrome, let's go and find out how to fix this. At the first line of defense, in our case using Chrome, we have to realize that it actually could mean the external site that we're trying to visit is the culprit. That means the site that we're trying to visit has problems and our Chrome browser perhaps may not. So how do we check that? We check that using proxy servers. All you need to do is whatever site is giving you that error connection timed out or error timed out message, go and visit proxysite.com, put the website address as in copy the URL, copy it, paste it in there and press on go. Because as you can see, when we use proxy site or proxy ways to connect to a site, it actually bypasses all the settings on our computer. That means this external server is trying to connect to the site. And as you can see, even the proxy site is having problem connecting to this website. What does that mean? This means right now, you can basically ignore error connection time there or error time there message because it's nothing to do with your Chrome browser. But what if you've done this method and you're thinking, you know what, I keep getting those messages even if I visit popular sites like YouTube or Facebook and so on. Then, what you can do, first, press on three dots on the right hand side corner of Chrome browser and then press on new incognito window. That means this setting will bypass all the settings that Chrome has downloaded to your local computer. And then paste the URL of a site that you're trying to visit to see if when you're using incognito option, does the error message still occur? If it does, then you know it's to do with your settings. What you can do is press on the three dots again, press on settings. This is what I always do when I run into any issues with Chrome. I press on clear browsing data. And then I just leave the passwords in place because I don't want to remove them or retype them because they are synced between Android, desktop, iPad, laptop and all, right? So that's why Chrome is a great secure browser. To recover from error timed out message, this is what I do. I think to myself, okay, you know what? It seems somehow the settings that Chrome has on my computer is causing that error. So then I just triple check the browsing data that I may have on my computer. But make sure leave the passwords in check, as in uncheck it, because you don't want to redo the passwords again. And error time the app message actually has nothing to do with password settings anyway. It's usually browsing history, download history, cookies and other site data that may be causing conflicts then clear that and then recheck the site in question what if you've done that and it's still not good at that moment what you can do is you can actually reset settings on chrome browser okay but before you do that let me show you a couple of different options if you're using firewall settings or programs on your computer perhaps windows 10 or Windows 7, you can right click and disable the firewall for a few minutes to check, you know what, is it the firewall settings? And then visit the site in question. You can also disable auto protect for a few minutes to troubleshoot. Now, what if you're not using Norton? What if you're using perhaps uh, Windows Defender? Because that could happen. Then remember that you can press on advanced settings and create outbound or even inbound rules. Okay, let's imagine YouTube was the culprit. Then you can press on new rule, select 
program in our example, Pressnex, find Chrome, which is in Windows 10, it's located in program files times 86, which is 32 bit operating system. Then go into Chrome, it's Google Chrome application, select the Chrome browser, press open and follow the prompts. Now Windows Defender will bypass connection used by Chrome. Now follow that option if you're using Windows Defender. Okay. Also, what you can do, control panel, network and sharing, press on your connection type, whether it's wireless or Ethernet, then press on properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4. Press on properties. And here, if you have obtained DNS server address automatically, you may, for time being, change that to use Google servers, which is 8888. Alternative DNS server is 8844. And press OK. Now you're using different DNS settings. You can visit the site in question or use your Chrome browser to visit different sites. If you're not getting this error message at this moment, then it's fixed. But if you're still getting it, then let's do this. You can open command prompt. Let's search for CMD. It stands for Windows Command Prompt. Right-click, run as administrator. Type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and then hit enter. I've created five lines here. So simply use this. That's one line. Then press enter. I don't want to do it because I'm recording this and I need to show you the Chrome browser. I don't want to flush my DNS settings, but you can do that. And then type this line and then press enter and then this and then this. And lastly, type this in and press enter. And then visit websites using Chrome browser. If it's still no good, then what I suggest that you do is disconnect from internet. How are you connecting? If you're using a router at your home, then turn that off for a few minutes and turn it back on. And then go and press on settings and hit reset settings and then reset. Now this will reset everything because yeah, uninstalling Chrome should be your last option. But nonetheless, that's an option. Yeah, you can, if you want, type this into, let's say, Windows, key on the keyboard, and let's say R. Press on the keyboard, Windows, and R, and then paste this here. Local app data, Google Chrome user data. Let's press OK. Here we have default. You can right click, copy, and paste. So now, default settings of Chrome, you have a backup. And later, you have a backup. So after you have a backup, you can right click and delete. And then go and reinstall Chrome browser okay or okay I'm going to cancel out of this because I don't want to uninstall my Chrome browser for the sake of this tutorial but rather your control panel has programs and features and then you can use uninstall method simply find Google Chrome and uninstall it completely while deleting and after you uninstall it, go back to App Data, Local, Google, and you can actually delete that folder entirely because you've just uninstalled Chrome. And then you can go 
use, let's say, Microsoft Edge or a different browser, just type download Chrome and then reinstall. These are all the known techniques that I believe once you follow these insights step by step, then you will not be seeing error timed out messages in Chrome. As I've said, first line of defense, use proxy to see, you know what, is it to do with your Chrome settings or is it to do with the external software? Because that could happen. So before you change anything on your computer, follow this approach. If not, rewatch this video because I have outlined many different settings that you can test and try to recover from error time there messages or error connection time there. Basically, that message says Chrome trying to connect to some external site is taking too long. Thus, Chrome gives us this warning. Okay? If you run into more issues and you're thinking, you know what, I followed all these insights and I still end up seeing that message, error message, and you want to learn how to fix it, then comment on this video so that we can find the solution for your setup as well. Okay? I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.